All right, this problem reads that Jasmine spent 40% of her savings on new clothes. If she spent $180, how much money did she have in her savings account? All right, when it comes to percentage word problems, I like to have my students create a ratio table because this organizes the information in a way that makes it easy for them to solve. Now, in our ratio table, I like to put one side as the part and the other side as the whole because a percentage really just is a part out of 100. So we consider 40 in this case the part and we consider 100 the whole. Now it says she spent $180, which is part of her savings account. So we must list $180 under the part of our ratio table. And what we're doing is figuring out what the whole is. So basically 180 out of the amount of money she has in her savings account will be equivalent to 40 out of 100. All right, now that we have put our numbers in the correct positions into our ratio table, what we can do is cross multiply. So whatever 180 times 100 is, is going to be equal to 40 times whatever this value is. So what we can say is that 40 multiplied by X is going to be equal to the product of 180 and 100. So we can just write 180 and stick two zeros behind and that would be 18,000. So all we have to do to figure out what X is equal to is divide both sides by 40 to figure out what X is. So we get X is equal to basically 1800 divided by four, half of 1800 is 900 and half of 900 is 450. So that would be $450 in her savings account before she went and spent $180.